Hello everyone, today I am going to be drawing a walking stick, and if I have time, I could do a praying mantis, but we'll see. Walking sticks are pretty short, but there's not much shading, so maybe I can fit it in. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Okay, let's start. Uh, 2H. Start with a uh, uh, shape this way. This way's good. Start with like a pencil shape and a little bit curve. You don't want the body to be too thick. Unless it's longer, then it'll be bigger. But this small point. See, easy already. Then add a leg. Not too thick, but not too thin either. Just enough so that you can see some detail. First leg, second leg. This one's going to be overlapping. Now add a small knot back here and two more legs. And that was a little too skinny there. The legs are. Legs are basically just three segments. I apologize if it's shaky. The table's a little shaky, so. Under here. I think I made that a little too long. I don't know. This one can be... Oh, too thick. With insects, legs have to be in the middle, because, like I said before, you don't want them too thick, then, you know, the only way you can have them thick is if it's, like, on a tarantula, but if it's thin, like, um, a, a black widow, or what I'm doing right now, it could be in the middle. I'd say, I think the thinnest leg would be a cockroach. And or the antennas of in, of insects because they're small and they don't really how do I say this? They're slender but they're not skinny like like a hair. There's enough to be sturdy enough to withstand danger. Like if they get in stuck or some in something, they don't rip off. But they still are very gentle. Not, they're still very fragile. Alright, so two, two, two. Now the at the back, kind of long, like that. Add sections. Section and waist. Now this part would be the skinny part. Draw the antenna. But with that, I'm gonna do the HP pencil. And I'm just gonna go over the lines again. And darker. Yeah. There we. Usually, with insects, the segments of the legs are in three to four parts. But sometimes the back or front have an extra um, segment. I'm just darkening this more. Ah, I made a tiny mistake. Maybe in my upcoming videos, I can do stuff like how to draw an eye, but I'm not too good at eyes. But probably I could do it, but. 
Maybe I could do one about depth. How, like, shadows underneath things and behind things. So, antenna. And antenna again. No, just start shading. Now, there's not... You don't want it to dark underbelly. I don't really want to use an HB pencil, but I feel like if I did a couple coats with the 2H pencil, I'd be able to get darkness. There. HB. Practically the same with any insect, animal, dinosaur, anything. The bottom is always going to be darker. Because that's where the sun doesn't hit. Now the legs, you don't really... I mean, legs are a little complicated because the bottom... If you want to get really detailed, you could do like the bottom very, very skinny shade. But that's only if like if I'm doing this on a larger scale. Which I'm um, probably don't do on a larger scale, but larger scales are good because they it can show you detail. But like if it's down here, it doesn't really matter. You can't. It's a, you're not like this close looking at the um picture, so at the drawing. Now shade it a little bit. There. Usually my videos are, it could be 10, not 9 minutes, 10 to 12. I don't really want to get over 12 because I feel like that's drawing it out a little too long. But it all depends on the animal. And if it's an animal such as the one I did, a blue whale, there's not enough um, shading that I want to do time lapse. But then if I do time lapse, it'll be a quick, a very short video. So it's a little hard. And there it is. I can show it up to the camera for detail. Like, see? Down here, it is lighter up here and darker down here. And the same, I blended it together. But I could do a little bit more. So it doesn't look like it's just with sketch. Now add the branch underneath it. Mm, one second. I do it so that there. Wait, no. There we go. Okay. Since they're very skinny, they can go on skinny branches, but this would be proportional to how small it is. And add shading again. Don't go down here. Since these are already dark, you don't need to worry about um, mixing them and the legs. So you can just do that. Light it up here. Sketch. I'm not sketching a shade. Blend it together, as I call it. And there. Now what I could do, just do this in the middle to show that it's round. <laughs> yeah, hope I didn't smear that. Let's see, hold on one second. I'll lift it up in a second. So, yeah. Now with walking sticks, you don't only really have eyes, but you could do like a tiny dot there, but it doesn't really make a difference. You have to be like that close to see the dot. And the branch, hold on a second, in my pencil. The branch blended it so it's even. And yeah, eight minutes, I'd say that's good. So I don't want to go over the time with a praying mantis. I could do that next time, not next time, because maybe I could do something else. But yeah, the date, which is 11-12. I thought I had the dark one. 11. Ugh. 11. 12. I think it's 12. Yeah. 20. The. Sketcher. 
All right, and that is it, a walking stick. So I'll see you guys in my next video, and have a good day. Bye.